everybody come on come on everybody oh yeah oh yeah everybody uh huh uh huh Boker Tov Boker Tov Yellow Dean have you noticed that the wall behind me changed a little bit this week did you notice that we decorated our wall with all of these beautiful large paper flowers hmm I wonder why we put our flowers up this week I bet after today you'll know very well my friends, what can we do when we wake up in the morning? Maura Katria, who may we call on today? Oh, Shoshana, I want to call on you, but I can't unmute you. There we go. What do you do, Shoshana? I brush my teeth. I brush. When I wake up in the morning, I brush my teeth. When I wake up in the morning, brush my teeth. Okay, let's do it really quiet. Thank you, Shoshana. Let's call on another friend. Eliora? Ellie, what do you do in the morning? You jump in your bed? Or what about this? What do you do? What are you eating? But mommy, that's not her. No. Uh, no, I want you to eat all of it. No. She jumps on her bed. <laughs> <laughs> when I wake up in the morning, I jump on my bed. When I wake up in the morning, I jump on my bed. Okay, Allie, do you want to be loud? Can you give me a thumbs up if you want to be loud? Let's be loud. Ready? Bokerto, Bokerto, Bo, 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 Let's call on one more friend to see what they do when they wake up in the morning. I see Rafi. Actually brushing his teeth. Oh, oh, who did we call on? Rafi. Rafi, what do you do when you wake up in the morning? <laughs> what do you do, Rafi? Brush my teeth. You brush your teeth? Do you want to do it fast or slow? Oh, yeah. Fast? Okay, ready? <gasps> When I wake up in the morning, I brush my teeth. When I wake up in the morning, I brush my teeth. Ready? Bokerto, bokerto, bo 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 bokerto, 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 bo 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 bokerto. Whoa, Rafi, you did that so fast that your keyboard went flying. Oh my goodness! Thank you so much. Ready? Let's be really quiet. When I say bokerto, you say. When I say bokerto, you say. And now really loud. Everybody come on, come on. Everybody, oh yeah, oh yeah. Everybody, uh huh, uh huh. Boker Tov. Boker Tov, Yellow Deem, Hag Sameach. Today is going to be such a wonderful, wonderful day. We're now going to go to Mora for me for our Davani. Good morning, everybody. Today we're going to do the whole Davani with me, and then we're going to Go on to more tequila for our shampoo and socks. We open our sea door with love to thank Hashem from above. My heart is bursting with joy as I dive into you. Each letter is a gem so precious to Hashem. I dive in with my sea door every single day. Each letter is a gem so precious to Hashem. I dive in with my sea door every single day. One of our pages came up. Let's do it. We open one eye, we open two. We say Moda'ani because it means thank you. We wash our yadayim six times. That's true. Because that's what every Jewish boy and girl must do. Moda'ani lefanacha. 
מלאכי וקיים שחזרת בי נשמתי בחמלה רבה אמונתך Teach me, teach me all I'm its will. Teach me what is right. The Torah teaches every Jew. Torah, Torah, I love you. Oh, there it is. It was in the wrong order. Okay. and then we'll count together. Are you ready? We're counting, we're counting the days. Hi, yom yom echad, we're on our way. From Pesach until Shavuot time. Seven times seven is 49. The days, the weeks are going by. We count all the days till we stood at Har Sinai, the day that we love is Chag HaShavuot, when Hashem gave us the Torah and mitzvot. We have a lot of numbers to count, but I'm a little bit sad that we're done with counting. Let's go not too fast today so we can do all of our numbers, but stay together. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. 29, 
30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. Woo! What comes after 48? 49! That's right! I'm going to color it in. It's our last flower because tonight when we light the candles, it's going to be Shavu. Oh, that's right! Okay, let's put our 49. It looks like a four and a nine. Wow, look at all those beautiful flowers we decorated with, just like Moratia's wall, just like Hashem decorated Harsinai with all these beautiful flowers. Let's go to more Angela for calendar, and then we'll come back and we'll do some more Shavuot and Shabbat. Good morning, friends. Hi. We're going to do the calendar. Are you ready? Okay, so yesterday was Wednesday, so today is... Thursday. Yesterday was the 27th. After comes 27 is? Thursday, June 4th, 2020. Is 28. So I'm going to put this one up. And then we'll sing that today is Thursday. Put that up. All right, ready? Today is Thursday. Today is Thursday. Today is Thursday. It's Thursday. Today. You could do it faster or slower. Today is Thursday. Today is Thursday. Today is Thursday. It's Thursday today. All right, let's do our days of the week. Um, we'll do days of the week. 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 There's Sunday, then there's Monday. There's Tuesday, then there's Wednesday. There's Thursday, then there's Friday. Then there is Shabbat. Days of the week. Days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Good job. We'll do our month. And remember, our month of May is coming to an end. And then we're going to start a new month. So I'm going to pat my knees and I'm going to sing the months. January, February, March, and April. May and June and July and August. September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. Twelve, twelve, twelve months coming. Twelve, twelve, twelve months coming. Twelve, twelve, twelve months coming. These are the months of the year. Good job. So after May, we're going to start June. We're going to start June. Okay, my friend, I'm going to do a little activity with you. So I'm going to move my camera and you can get out of your spot and you can do a breath in your spot or you could get out of your spot or you could do some yoga stretches or whatever your body feels like. So I'm going to move my camera. Take your breath, move your body. And get yourself ready. Okay. Hi. I'm just going to move my camera so you can see what I have here. Okay. I saw some people moving their bodies and taking breaths. Okay. Oops. So right here I have a whiteboard and I've got some dry erase markers. You could do this with a paper and a pencil or a marker or whatever. I'm just gonna use a whiteboard so it'll be easy so I can erase it and show you. So I'm gonna show you what things you could make with using your hands, just your hand, or you could use both. But some art things that you could do with your hands. So I need the black one. Okay. So this first one, it needs to be upside down. So I'm just gonna do it normal towards the bottom and then I'll flip it. Okay, so I put my hand down and I'm going to start almost at my wrist, below my thumb, and I'm going to go up 
all the way around. It's a little tricky because you have to keep your hand still and then your other hand has to go around your fingers nicely. If you mess up, that's okay. You could try again or you could just move it around a bit. Okay, so now I'm going to connect them. So that's my handprint, yes? Okay, so now I'm going to flip it over. Okay, and right here, I'm going to make a little eye. And, oops, like I said, if you mess up, you can do it again. So you want to make a little eye. And then, something like that, yeah. Okay, now I'm going to add. Maybe you could guess what this is. I think I might have to go back and fix the mouth. But I'm gonna take the top, and I'm gonna add these ridges, and then, it's supposed to look like a dinosaur, but if it looks a little bit different, then that's okay. But do you see how I added these stuff, these little spikes on the top? So if you wanted to, I have a green one right here. I just used the black one so you could see, but you could do this with a green, or you could make an orange dinosaur, or a purple one, or a pink one. So after you trace it, you could go back and you could color it, or if you wanted to get messy, you could, you have to ask your mom or dad first, but you could paint your hand and you could make your, your handprint, and then you could come back when it dries and you could add to it. But that's kind of messy. So right now I'm showing you how to draw it. So there's your first one. So I have a dinosaur. Okay, I'm gonna erase it and I'm gonna go to the next one. This one's gonna be, I need my directions. This one's gonna be the same where I'm gonna do it um, upside down again. But this one, I want to keep my fingers together. I'm not going to trace all the way my fingers like I did the last one. So I'm going to kind of hold them together. And I'm going to keep, yeah, kind of keep them together. And I'm going to start here at the bottom again, where my wrist is. And I'm going to go around. But look, I'm just going to do the top. Boop. And I'm going to go around. Boop. I'm just going to the tip of my finger. I'm not going all the way in like I did my other one. So if you see, it looks a little bit different because I just did the tips of my finger. And then I'm going to connect it. This one I really need my directions for. Okay, so now I'm gonna flip it over like I did the other one. So that now I'm gonna draw on the top. So I'm gonna add just a little line like that. And I'm gonna add little antennas, you see? And I'm gonna add two little eyes. And I'm gonna start at the top and I'm gonna make a line all the way through. And I'm gonna draw Maybe you know what it is. Maybe you don't. Okay, I'm gonna take this red one. And I'm gonna color all the way through. I'm not gonna do it so perfect because I don't want to take so long, but I'm gonna kind of show you. Do 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 do. Do you know what it is? Oops. So if you were painting, how would you do this? Because I have these black circles and then I also have red all around it. Do you know how you would do it? Sounds like a ladybug to you? <laughs> so you could paint your hand red and then you could do your hand print and then when it dries, you could do the black circles. So that's if you want to do it messy, okay? So there's the ladybug one. I have this next one, so I'm gonna erase this. Oh, it looks so nice. Okay, this one, I'm gonna make more than one handprint. Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna do it down like this. It's kind of easier to start like this and then flip it around. So I'm gonna do my handprint. This one, I'm gonna go all the way through like the very first one. Doot. All the way through. 
I might not be able to do so many because my hand is big, but you would probably be able to do more than a, more than a few. So I'm gonna do my handprint right next to it. Right next to it. Yeah, I think I can only get two. Really, you could be able to do three or four. Okay, I'm gonna connect them here. I'm gonna flip them over. And over here. Ooh. I'm gonna make a face. I could have made the head a lot bigger. <laughs> this could be anything, but it's supposed to be a caterpillar. <laughs> so you could use four handprints. And it would probably look more like a caterpillar, and then you could <laughs> you could draw more. Um, and you could also choose your color. So you could do you could do half of your hand one color, and then you could make a different color for your fingers because that would be the legs. So then you could do your fingers one color, and then you could do this part on your hand a different color. That's if you do it messy. Okay, I have one more. So you could do it. There's so many things that you could make with your handprints. So it might turn out to look like something else. And then it's like, oh, wow, you just made something new. Okay. So this one, first I'm going to start with drawing a circle. Um, oh, no. My hand's going to be too big for this one. Okay. So I'm going to draw a smaller hand. But you would trace your hand. And then I'm gonna turn it around, I'm gonna do it this way. Two, three, four, five. You see how I'm making handprints all around the circle? It, mine doesn't look so good because I'm trying really hard to make it look really smaller so I can fit more. I'm gonna do one more. One, two, three, four, five fingers. Ugh. I'll just add an extra one to make it look pretty. So it could be a flower. You could make a flower with your handprint. So make a circle in the middle and then draw your hand all the way around it. Or if you get messy, you could paint your hand. If you did this, you could do one handprint. You can make a pattern. You could do like one color and then another color and then another color and then you would have different ones. Oh, okay, my friends. I'm excited to see what handprint art you make. Hi again! I get to tell you all about what we're doing this weekend. So tonight is a very special night. We're going to light candles, but tonight is not Shabbat. Tonight is going to be Shavuot. And then after Shavuot, then we're going to have Shabbat. So I thought we should have our Shavuot songs first and then go into Shabbat, just like we're going to tonight and tomorrow. And I just wanted to let you know that the Shanks are gonna be our Shabbat stars today. Yay, thank you. So get your stuff ready. Um, okay, so Shavuot songs. First, Hashem really needed to find a mountain to give us the Torah on, right? So we're gonna sing our mountain song. So everybody get up out of your seats. Can you see me? Hang on, let me just make sure you could see me. Everybody get up, we're gonna do our mountain song. <clears throat> Hold on a second. Oh, yeah, sorry, I can't. Can you move to the other one? Okay. I am a mountain so very high. I can reach all the way up to the sky. The Torah should be given on me, for I am as tall as can be, you see. I am a mountain so very wide. I can reach all the way from side to side. The Torah should be given on me, for I am as wide as can be, you see. I am much better than both of you, and there are so many things I can do. The Torah should be given on me, for I am the best that can be, you see. But little Harsin, I sit strong inside. I know I'm not tall. I know I'm not wide. Most of all, I'm happy to be just the way that Hashem created me. So which mountain do you suppose was the one that Hashem wisely chose? It wasn't the ones that were wide or high. Hashem gave the Torah on heart. 
Sinai. Woo! So Hashem found a mountain to give us the Torah on. We went all the way from Mitzrayim and we walked through the desert. We came to Har Sinai and then Hashem asked us a question. Remember the song? Hashem gave us a present. Do you know what it was? He gave us the Torah so we could keep its laws. He asked the other nations, do you want this gift of mine? And they said, no, thank you for Torah, there's no time. Then to B'nai Yisrael, Hashem did go. We said, Nasa B'nai because we love him so. Then to B'nai Yisrael, Hashem did go. We said, Nasa B'nai because we love him so. So we chose, yes, we wanted the Torah. So Hashem gave it to us on Har Sinai, but first we had to listen very, very quietly. What did we do at Har Sinai? Hashem told all the Yidin to come and stand around the little Har Sinai and not to make a sound. Everyone was waiting. No one made a noise. Shh. Bobbies, 80s, mommies, tatties, babies, girls, and boys. Soon there was a rumbling. The shofar we could hear. And then we heard Hashem's strong voice saying loud and clear, I am Hashem all by myself and this is what I say. The Torah that I give you now, you must keep every day. So then we accepted the Torah and Hashem gave it to us. And now every Shavuot, we hear the Aseris Adibros, the Ten Commandments that are written, oh, it was upside down, in our Torah on, Sh on Shavuot in Shul. And if you get to go to shul, that's great. If you don't, you could see, read them at home. Ask your mommy or tati to read to you the Aster Tadibrot at home. <clears throat> On Shavuos morning, we go to shul to hear the Aster Tadibros read so loud and clear. And all our little babies come and hear it too. We listen very quietly shh, to hear what we must do. And all our neshamos remember when we stood at Har Sinai and heard the voice of Hashem. I have a very special book to share with you. I have to share my screen though, so let me see if I can work this. Okay. Oh, good. I'm going to read to you a story. See if this is working. Can you see my screen? Great. This is called When the World Was Quiet. It's based on a book that I have here. And I, I think I posted it. If not, I'll post it later today on YouTube so you can go watch it later. But right now I'm gonna share the screen with you so you can see these pictures too. When the world was quiet, the people did not talk. The babies did not cry. Looks like a very happy baby. The birds did not chirp. The fish did not splash. The geese did not honk. Have you ever heard a goose honk? And the ducks did not quack. The sheep did not say, Bah. The goats did not say meh. Have you heard the fisher's goats say meh? The chickens did not cluck. The roosters did not crow. Can you crow like a rooster? The turkeys did not gobble. Look at that turkey. The cows did not, what do cows say? Moo. The wind did not swish. Did I miss a page though? The leaves did not rustle. The waves did not crash. When the world was quiet. Okay, let me see. How do I stop sharing? Here we go. Did you like that book? That was a fun book, wasn't it? Okay, so now we're going to do our Shabbat party. Yosef, Shalom, and Esther, if you want to get your challah and grape juice ready for when it's time, Maura Katria will unmute you when I ask her to, okay? Okay. Let me get my chair. Sit down and we'll have Shabbat party now. Very exciting. Shabbat is coming and we're so happy. We'll eat some challah. 
and drink some wine. A special time for friends and family. Shabbat time is yours and mine. Should we make some challah for Shabbat? Are you ready? Are you going to pound on the table? We're going to do it quietly first, and then you can get a loud. Ready? I help my mommy make challah. I pound and knead the dough. And when we take off some dough, we're ready to go. Oh, challah, challah, challah. You taste so yummy. Challah, challah, challah. I'll put you in my tummy. Mmm. Hmm. We need to make some soup so we can eat something on Shabbat. We make chicken soup, ready? Put some chicken in the pot, stir it up nice and hot. Making chicken soup for Shabbos, getting ready for Shabbat. More Katria, can we call on all of our friends? Can we start with Daniel to call, to put something in the pot? Carrots. Carrots. What color are carrots, Daddy? Orange. Orange, that's right. Put orange carrots in the pot. Stir it up nice and hot. Making chicken soup with carrots. Getting ready for Shabbat. Let's go to Asher. Asher, do you have something in that basket to put in our chicken soup pot? Let's see. Can we unmute him? I think I may have to need some help on Asher's end. Asher, can you get somebody to come and unmute you? Okay, let's come back to Asher, and let's go to Esther and Yosef Shalom. Oh, and then we'll, okay. what would you like to have in the chicken soup? You can um, pick something. Plums. 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 What? Plums. Plums. Yummy. Plums. 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 That's funny. We'll put some purple plums in. Ready? Put purple plums in the pot, stir it up nice and hot, making chicken soup with purple plums, getting ready for Shabbat. Let's see, is Eliora and Talia ready to put something in the chicken soup pot? I see you're outside. I don't know if I see anybody there. Oh, there we go. What would you like to put in the chicken soup? Are you eating pancakes? Do you want to put some pancakes in? No. What do you want to put in? Nothing? Can you say it louder? Nothing. Nothing. Put nothing in the pot. Stir it up nice and hot. Making chicken soup with nothing. Getting ready for Shabbat. Should we go back to Asher now? Let's go back to Asher. Is Asher able Yeah, to I think they're ready. Yay. More Katria. Asher, what would you like to put in the chicken soup pot? Carrots. More carrots? All right, put more carrots in the pot. Stir it up nice and hot. Make a chicken soup with carrots. Getting ready for Shabbat. Rafi and Shifra, would you like to put something in our chicken soup? I don't know, croutons. Croutons? And matzo balls? Croutons. Croutons yeah. and mango. Sorry, try again. Cucumbers and mango. Cucumbers, mangoes, and croutons. Put cucumbers, mangoes, and croutons in the pot. Stir it up nice and hot. Making chicken soup with cucumbers, mangoes, and croutons. Getting ready for Shabbat. Woo, that was a mouthful. Hanala, are you able to be any good? Hanala, do you know what? Would you like to put something in the chicken soup pot? She might be frozen. She's frozen on my end. Katria, did you hear anything? No, I can't tell. Okay. Hanala, we're going to come back to you. We're, we'll try again when you're unfrozen. Abby, would you like to put something in the chicken soup pot? What would you like to put in? What do you show um, me your plate? What do you want to put I in? I want to put um, candy and chocolate. Candy and chocolate. Okay. I saw you had candles too, so you could light with me when I could do that. 
Put some candy and chocolate in the pot. Stir it up nice and hot. Making chicken soup with candy and chocolate. Getting ready for Shabbat. Let's go to Yosef, Shalom, and Nikki. And would you? what would you like to put in the pot? Uh, matzo balls. Matzo balls. Both of you want to put matzo balls in? Yes. No. Okay. No, I want to put in carrots. Carrots. Okay. Carrots. Put carrots and matzo balls in the pot. Stir it up nice and hot. Making chicken soup with carrots and matzo balls. Getting ready for Shabbat. Let's see. It's Hanala. Should we try Hanala again? Uh, Hanala, you want to try again? You want to tell us what you would like in the pot? Chicken. Chicken. Yay, I heard it. Put some chicken in the pot. Stir it up nice and hot. Make the chicken soup with chicken. Shabbat. All right, Star Ita, are you there? Would you like to put something in the pot? Can you get unmuted? I think we're going to, Star Ita, do you want to go get some help to get unmuted and then we'll come back to you? Yeah? Maybe we could go to Noah. Noah, are you there? Could we unmute you? Would you like to put something in the chicken soup pot? Uh, matzo balls, chocolate, and lunch, and yogurt. Can we pick two things? Because I don't know if I can remember all of that. Matzo balls and yogurt. balls and yogurt. Oh, that's so funny. Okay, put matzo balls and yogurt in the pot. Stir it up nice and hot. Making chicken soup with matzo balls and yogurt. Getting ready for Shabbat. Let's go to Ezra and Shoshana. Are you there? Would you like to put something in the chicken soup? Yeah. Yeah. What, what, I can't see your faces. Do you want to move the camera so you can see? Show us your faces? Or just tell me what you want to put in the pot. Um, I can make it. I like want pickles. Pickles. So why is that not Pickles? Doing that? Pickles. Pickles. <laughs> Thank you, Mark and Shoshana, what would you like? Um, I want... Um, could you come back to me? <laughs> uh, sure. Put some pickles in the pot. Stir it up nice and hot. Making chicken soup with pickles. Getting ready for Shabbat. Start eating. Go get help so we can unmute you. Go ask somebody to unmute you. Let's go to Gita and Shmuel while Sarita is getting help. Sarita, uh, Gita and Shmuel, okay. what would you like to put in that pot? Okay. Oh, Sarita's apples. Apples. apples, yay, thank you. <laughs> Rabbi, put some apples in the pot. Stir it up, the nice and hot. Making chicken soup with apples, getting ready for Shabbat. Mm -hmm. And Gita and Shmuel are already unmuted. What would you like to put in the pot? There you are. What do you want to put in? Um, matzo balls. Matzo balls, yum. I want to put in carrots. Carrots and matzo balls? Yummy. Put some carrots and matzo balls in the pot. Stir it up nice and hot. Making chicken soup with carrots and matzo balls. Getting ready for Shabbat. Yakov Chaim, are you there? Would you like to put something in the pot? <laughs> what would you like to put in, Yakov Chaim? <laughs> you want to put in marshmallows? <laughs> let's, let's put in marshmallows for Yakov Chaim. Put some marshmallows in the pot, stir it up nice and hot, making chicken soup with matzo ball, or marshmallows getting ready for Shabbat. Esther, Rivka, and Sarah Leah, what would you like to put in the pot? Um, matzo balls. Matzo balls. Esther, are you there? Would you like to put something in too? Sarah is Esther Rivka there? 
No. Oh, okay, so we'll just put some matzo balls in. Put some matzo balls in the pot. Stir it up nice and hot. Making chicken soup with matzo balls. Getting ready for Shabbat. But Sheva, would you like to put something in the chicken soup pot? What would you like to put in? Can we unmute you? Are we able to unmute her more, Katria? Might be on her end. Okay. But Sheva, if you want to ask somebody for help, we'll come back to you and we'll go to Shoshana first. So Shoshana, I see you have your hand raised. That was very helpful. Thank you. What would you like to put in the chicken soup? Oh, oh she's not unmuted. <laughs> what would you like to put in, Shoshana? Plain. Say it again. Plain. Flames? Flames? Like fire? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what? I know of a candy that's called Red Hots that are, that are hot like flames. Do you want to put in some hot candy? Or should we cook with the flames? Cook. Okay. Let's cook the chicken with the flames. Up, nice and hot. <laughs> chicken soup with flames. Getting ready for Shabbat. So let's see, Batsheva, you're the last one. Can you get unmuted? Oh, Yay, great. what would you like to put in the pot? What do you want to put in? Carrots. Say carrots. 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 Put some Louder. carrots in the pot. Stir it up nice and hot. Making chicken soup with carrots. Getting ready for Shabbat. And you know what? I saw that Eliora switch computers so let's call on Eliora and see can we unmute you and we can Eliora oh good Eliora what would you like to put in the pot what did you just put in here um pink potato did you hear that say it no potato <gasps> yummy we didn't have any potatoes yet today good Let's put, put, potato, put potatoes in the pot. Stir it up nice and hot. Making chicken soup with potatoes. Getting ready for Shabbat. Okay, let's dump some Shabbat spice in and everybody stir it and take a big bite. Let's taste it. Mmm, you kids make the best Shabbat chicken soup. All right, now we get to light the candles. And Abby, I saw you had some candles too, so you could pretend to light with us. Because those are toy candles, right? Oh, Yehuda didn't get a turn. We have to go to Yehuda first. Yehuda, what do you want to put in the chicken soup pot? Um, Say it again louder. Candy. 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 Let's dump a whole bag of candy in. Put some candy in the pot. Stir it up. Nice and hot, making chicken soup with candy, getting ready for Shabbat. Should we taste it again? Ready? Mmm, even better. I love it. Delicious. Okay. Oh, Abby, you have pretend challah, too. Are you ready to light the candles? And we'll see. Sometimes it's really, really nice, just like on Shavuot, when we were getting ready for the Torah, we were so quiet. It's so nice to get quiet and look at the candle flames. And I'm having a hard time lighting. There we go. Okay. Bring in the light. We'll bring it in and cover our eyes. Baruch Atah Hashem Elokeinu Melech HaOlam Asher Kedushanu B'Metzvotav V'Tivanu V'Halik Ne'er Shel Shabbat Kodesh. Beautiful. Let me put these candles over here. Okay. What do we need? Oh, it's Shabbat now. Shabbat is here. Shabbat is here. I'm so glad that Shabbat is here. Candles burning bright. It's Friday night. I'm so glad that Shabbat is here. Shabbat Shalom Yehuda. Shabbat Shalom to Daniel. Shabbat Shalom Yezer Shalom and Esther. Shabbat Shalom to Talia and Eliora. Shabbat Shalom Rafi and Shifra. Shabbat Shalom to Hanala. Shabbat Shalom to Abby. Shabbat Shalom Yosef Shalom and Mickey. Shabbat Shalom Saraita. Shabbat Shalom to Noah. 
Shabbat Shalom, Ezra Shoshana. Shabbat Shalom, Gita Truel. Shabbat Shalom, Esther Rivka and Serenaya. Shabbat Shalom, Yaakov Chaim. Shabbat Shalom, Batshava. Shabbat Shalom to Gabi. Oh my goodness, Gabi didn't put anything in the pot. Does Gabi want to put something in the pot, Martia? No? Okay. Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Okay, so now I need Esther to make a bracha on our Kiddush cup because on the Kiddush, on grape juice. So let's sing our little Kiddush song because we're ready for Kiddush. So go ahead and, um, Mrs. Shank, can you um, unmute yourselves and then we'll sing the song and Esther can say the bracha. Okay. Would you like to pick her up? I pick up my kids when I see the little Kiddush cups on. You're welcome to do that if you want to. Oh, <laughs> I'm a little Kiddish cup shirt. Oh, yeah. Stop the it. Juicer wine is poured into me. When you say the breath, oh, you lift me up. Oh, 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 so stop. Esther, you ready to make her gotha? No, you also show them to do it with you? Yeah. You want to do it by yourself? Yeah. If uh -oh. anybody else has grape juice, you could get some grape juice right now. Let's see what do. Do you want to make her go fun? Huh? I'm sorry I made you spill. We're going to work together here. Everybody needs to be in the camera. You can't touch my Sometimes screen. that happens and things spill. You're right. And we, we can Are get you ready to say together. Esther's ready. Let's sit you up. Are you ready? Take a big deep breath so you can do it with everybody. They're all waiting. Everybody's waiting to drink their kiddush because they need you and Esther to make hava. Come, I'm going to move you closer to Esther. Does anybody else have grape juice that they're going to drink too? Because everybody's waiting. They don't want to take too long. Daniel, do you have grape juice? Unless we do it now. No. Okay. Here we go. Everybody, wait. Yay! Gonna... Let's listen to Esther and you say, shall I make the bracha on the grape juice? Okay, hold your cup. Say the bracha. One, two, three. You ready? I'll do it with you. Hold your cup. Like Abba does. No? Okay. Ba, ra, a, ta, a, da, a, la, me, la, ha, o, la, bo, re, ta, ri, ha, ta, fa. Amen. Beautiful. Okay, Yosef Shalom, were you going to make a bracha on the challah for us too? He has to be the first one to wash in our, our house. Mm -hmm. You want to wash? You want to wash? Okay, you ready? Here's the challah. <laughs> Is that fresh challah? Is it so hot and yummy? Not hot. It's not hot yet anymore? You want to keep it wrapped in the foil? Oh, okay. You need more foil? If anybody else has bread or challah too, you could make a bracha with us. Wash your hands and, and eat the challah. It's a good time for a snack, isn't it? Okay, we're not Shabbat stars today. Okay. I love Shabbos. Yes, I do. I love Shabbos. So do you. Shabbos is a day of rest. Shabbos, I love you best. Puts me in a special mood. Bracha on the Shabbos food. Dressed in clothes so fresh and clean. When I meet the Shabbos queen. Ready for bim bam, everybody? Let's get our hands ready. Bim bam. Bim 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 bam. Bim, 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 bam. Bim, bam. Bim, 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 bam. Bim, 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 bam. Shabbat shalom. Hey, Shabbat shalom. Hey, Shabbat, 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 Shabbat shalom. Hey, Shabbat shalom. Hey, Shabbat shalom. Hey, Shabbat, 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 Shabbat shalom. Bim, bam. Bim, 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 bam. 
Bam, 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 bam. Oh, who's that? Do you hear somebody? There's a dinosaur knocking on my door. Knocking one, two, three. There's a dinosaur knocking on my door, and he wants to spend Shabbat with me. Oh, he wants to light the candles, and he wants to drink the wine. He wants to eat the challah, and we always have a real good time. There's a dinosaur knocking on my door. Knocking one, two, three. There's a dinosaur knocking on my door, and he wants to spend Shabbat. Yes, he wants to spend Shabbat. Yes, he wants to spend Shabbat with me and all of you and Shavuot too. Thank you so much for doing Shabbat party a little bit early this week. We're going to go to more for me to read a book or two. A book. Hey, everybody. Today, I'm going to read a book on the screen also. I'm going to share screen, my screen also, just like Morty. He loves it. Okay, here we go. This book is called, Is It Shavuot Yet? Yeah. Are you ready? And since Yossi Shalom and Esther are Shabbat stars, this book is going to be about them. Are you ready, Yossi Shalom and Esther? Yossi Shalom woke up early one morning on a day before Shavuot. That's today, right? He looked at Esther and asked, Is it Shavuot yet? Yeah? No, Esther said. First, we have to go shopping. So Yossi Shalom and Esther got ready. They washed their hands. They gave tzedakah. They sang their davening songs. They went to the store and bought food for Yom Tov. They bought lots of dairy ingredients. Is it Shavuot yet, asked Yossi Shalom? No, Esther said. First, we have to cook for Yom Tov. So Yossi Shalom and Esther unpacked the bags. They helped their mother bake challah cook the soup and prepare the meat. Oh, we just made the soup and we just ate the challah, right? Soon the kitchen smelled yummy from the delicious Yom Tov foods. Is it Shavuot yet? Yossi Shalom asked. No, Esther said. First, we have to bake the cheesecake. So Yossi Shalom and Esther washed their hands. They mixed the cheese, flour, eggs, and sugar together before long they had a delicious cheesecake for Shavuot. Is it Shavuot yet? Asked Yossi Shalom asked. No, Esther said. First, we have to decorate the house with flowers. So Yossi Shalom and Esther went to buy flowers. Then they arranged the flowers beautifully in every room in the house. Is it Shavuot yet? Yossi Shalom asked. No, Esther said. First, we have to set the table for the Yom Tov meal. So Yossi, Shalom, and Esther spread out a tablecloth. They prepared a setting for each family member and guest. Is it Shavuot yet? Yossi, Shalom asked. No, Esther said. First, you need to take a nap if you want to stay up with Abba to learn Torah. So Yossi, Shalom went to sleep with a smile on his lips. He dreamed about the sweetness of Torah. When Yossi, Shalom woke up, he and Esther got dressed in their Yom Tov clothes. Is it Shavuot yet? Yossi Shalom asked. Yes, Esther said, smiling. Now it's Shavuot. Yossi Shalom jumped up and down. Finally, he cheered. Hooray! And have a great Shavuot. We're going to go to more Tia now. Thank you for joining us today. Hag Sameach and Shabbat Shalom. Oh my goodness, it's very special when we ha have a hog that goes into, sh into Shabbos. And we get to spend so much time with our family. And this is a very special one because we get to spend time learning and eating delicious foods and being together. Thank you all for joining us. We will not have class tomorrow because tonight is the start of Shavuot. And then we go into Shabbos. I will see you all on Monday. Shalom Chavarim, Shalom Chavarim, Shalom Shalom. Let it throat, let it throat, Shalom Shalom. Goodbye, my friends. Have peace, my friends. Have peace, have peace. 
till we meet again, till we meet again. Have peace, have peace. Shalom, Chavarim, Shalom, Chavarim, Shalom, Shalom. Lehitrot, Lehitrot, Shalom, 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 Shalom. If you are in pre-K, you are going to stay on with Maura Angela right now for your class with her. Everyone else, Hag Sameach. We'll see you on Monday.